Hi you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Ali, if you don't know me. So there's this trend going around, I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of an old trend, but people talk about what's in their beauty bag and what they would repurchase if they lost it. So a few months later, I'm like, you know what? Let's do the trend. And honestly, I'm a beauty content creator. I do get sent quite a lot of stuff. So for me to go out and repurchase something time and time again, that to me means that this is like irreplaceable. This is an irreplaceable product in my beauty room and I need to have it. So let's get into it. I put this shirt on a hanger and now it's got these like points and I'm just so annoyed at myself for doing that. All right, so we're gonna start with some hair care. So lately I've been wearing, blah, 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 blah. Every week when I wash my hair, I also do a blowout with my Shark Flex Style. It's actually another really fantastic product if you wanna look into it, I've done a video on it. But I also like to use a volumizing shampoo and conditioner. So I just have a lot of bounce to my hair. And I've been using the Kerasilk volumizing shampoo and conditioner. I have quite thick, heavy hair. So for me to wash it and then feel nice and light, it feels really nice. All right, this might be another reason I like it, but the conditioner is a foam. And that's just cool. Now I've actually used Kerasilk for a while. My dad really likes their products. And obviously back in the day when I was younger, I couldn't afford nice shampoo and conditioner. So I used to steal his and that's kind of where I fell in love with it. But I just want to be fully transparent. I started using Kerasilk again as a part of a paid partnership with them. That's kind of where I re-fell in love with the product, but I've been using it for a couple of months now and I still love it. I really do. This is not an ad or anything. It was all on TikTok, but yeah. Keeping up with the hair theme, we have the best dry shampoo you will ever try in your entire life. So it's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. And the reason I like this is it actually cleans your hair. It's not just drying out the sweat or the oils. So this is perfect for post gym. I like to work out pretty much every day so my hair can get a little bit sweaty, but I only wash my hair once a week. So in between washes, I'll use this and it, my hair just feels nice and fresh. It's really great. You can get it at Mecca and that's kind of all I have to say about it. Now I have seriously dry hair to the point where I have to actually get my hair cut every six weeks opposed to eight because my hair will start to split at the ends because of its dry frizziness. But to counteract that, my hairdresser recommended that I take these two oils. Take these two oils, use these two oils. Um, this is the Kerastase Elixir Ultim. It gets so many awards. Everyone really loves this and it's a dry oil. So once you put it on, it just soaks into the hair. Your hair doesn't look really oily. And I do two pumps in the morning of this. And then the evening I'll do two pumps of this and then mix it in with two pumps of this, which is the Kerastase Eight Hour Magic Night Serum. Ooh, this combo, I talk about it all the time on my TikTok. It's fan-bloody-tastic. This year for me has been the year of hair health and I've really invested in those products to make my hair healthy again. But if I was gonna recommend just one product, it would definitely be this one. The sleeves are really annoying me. Just know that this is not what I want. And I'd say this is really good if you have normal to dry hair. Let's move on to skincare. Now, I've spoken about this brand quite a few times and I've even made a YouTube video on it so you can go check it out, but it is the Road skincare. I've talked about how I get that celebrity brand fatigue, but for some reason, Miss Hailey Bieber has roped me into her skincare routine. When I first received it, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll just make a little video, it'll gain some traction, and we'll scooch along. But when I used it, oh, it felt luxurious on my skin and it kind of felt like that brand Biologique Research. I'll take a little photo and put it up on the screen for you, but it's a very expensive brand and it gave me the exact same vibes. Really good for dehydration issues, skin barrier issues. I get a lot of rosacea um, and I find that those calming, you know, hyaluronic acids, niacinamides, ceramides, they're all really fantastic for your skin and that's what these products have in them. My only issue, which I have stated before is they don't ship to Australia. I don't know why their PR company sent it to a bunch of beauty content creators in Australia when they don't actually sell the product here, but that is my hope 
that they are then going to do that. I don't know, maybe create some hype. I don't know, oh, man. Now, again, I have really sensitive skin, so I don't use anything like retinols at the moment because it's just, my skin's just not in that position right now. But what I do use once a week is these Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. I actually used to use them every day. I don't think that you should do that, maybe like three times a week max. But wow, they transform your skin, especially if you have any like dry patches, it'll just, it'll get rid of it. If you use one of these and then that week apply some makeup, that makeup application is gonna look flawless. Trust me on that one. They come in these little packs and they're actually just little sachets and you're meant to do the first one, wait two minutes and then do the second one just to make sure all the product seeps in. Now, a little fun fact for you. These are the extra strength formula. I have really sensitive skin and I find the extra strength formula is better for my skin than the sensitive skin formula. I'm not sure why the sensitive skin formula, it just breaks me out personally. Okay, this is one of my favorite all time moisturizers and it's a drugstore product. And I think a lot of people have clued onto this product. It had so much popularity back in the skincare by Hiram days. What happened to him by the way? But it's the CeraVe um, moisturizing lotion. Me and my partner, we usually get the big bottles because you can put it on your face and your body. Oh, it is nice. Now there's actually quite a few CeraVe moisturizers. This one is also the CeraVe moisturizing cream. I actually prefer the lotion over the cream. It's a little bit thinner in consistency. It's a bit more like a water cream. Um, and I've tried many moisturizers in my time and this is affordable. It is actually fantastic, especially again, if you have dry skin, normal skin, actually any skin it's, it's really great for. It has ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide in it. It's essential to having a solid skin barrier. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely give it a go. Actually, try all the CeraVe products. They're all actually really good, especially their cleansers. Moving on to face oils, we have the Sunday Riley Juno Oil. It says it's an antioxidant and superfood face oil with nine cold pressed, vitamin rich superfood seed oils in it. And it's 100% pure plant extracts. And again, I sound like such a broken record, but I have skin barrier issues and I just noticed a really big difference in my skin when I applied this at night. Um, if you have sort of more normal skin um, as opposed to dry skin, this would be great for winter time, uh, for that extra sort of added hydration layer, but probably not for summer which I still use it in summer. Like literally whenever I have a problem, I will stop all the skincare that I'm using and then just night and day, I will use this with a microfiber cloth as a cleanser and apply nothing else and my skin is back to normal within a week. That is how good it is. Okay, do we have any more skincare? Ooh, we have a tool and it's not me. <laughs> Funny jokes. So with my Juno oil in the evening, I'll usually do the metal gua sha. Not for any sort of slimming benefits or anything. I just have really bad TMJ. I'm a grinder, I'm a clencher. And I really find that when I get in there with my face oil, it just feels like pure heaven. Like you're really just getting those knots out and it's releasing, it just feels. <sighs> It feels unreal. Now, the reason I would repurchase the Face Gym Gua Sha over buying just like a regular Gua Sha is I like that it's metal. And yeah, I like that it's metal. Two benefits of metal. I've had many Gua Sha's before and pretty much all of them have broken on me in my beauty bag. Metal don't break. Secondly, metal doesn't harbor as much bacteria as like say a stone wood or plastic gua sha's. Um, and it's really important to wash your gua sha before and after use, just to make sure it is clean in general, because you don't want to be wiping all that bacteria around your face and then wondering why you're breaking out when it's this guy. And you guys, that's all I have time for today, but I am going to make a part two on this. But if you've gotten this far, comment a little love heart emoji, a red love heart emoji, and I might just send a little something special your way.